So in this chapter, we talk about facetted navigation. You know, one of the biggest challenges in SEO is to manage URL inventory, particularly if you work with e-commerce sites that have, say, many categories and subcategories as well. Often there are different types of filters which then can be combined as well. So, for example, in a category, say, that's laptops, you can then also select the inches for the display size or the memory or the hard disk drive and its capacity. And then you can combine all of those filter criteria. You know, all of those different types of filters would usually create different types of URLs as well. And in most cases, each filter combination also has its kind of own unique URL. You know, from Google's perspective, they have to crawl all of them because they don't know, you know if they all have important unique content on them or not. But almost always, those are duplicated versions of this one main URL. You know, this can lead to millions and millions of URLs and more, you know, depending on the amount of categories and category combinations that you actually have. It is kind of a nightmare from a crawling perspective, and most of these URLs would not have enough search demand anyways. Instead of letting Google crawl all of this, what you could implement is what's called a PRG, so that's Post Redirect Gap Pattern which is one of the, say, advanced concepts in technical SEO. Instead of having millions of URLs and links that internally lead to them, you would use a post form and just style the text using CSS accordingly to how your hyperlinks actually look on your site. Google does not execute or submit forms that use the method of post. You would just use a JavaScript to submit a post form and then send this to a controller. The controller then redirects to a clean get URL that you can also use for page search, say, if you really have to. And Google will not follow the post request either. So for Google, you know, and from a crawling perspective or the classic crawling perspective, this URL is really not present at all because it's not linked anywhere. Also, this implementation doesn't waste any link equity because it's not using the classic rhref link tag anymore. So to be sure you would put a no index or a canonical on that final get URL to really ensure that it's not shown in search results at all. This would be a problem as it is probably a very thin or almost duplicate page to something else. You know, for example, that's the same kind of unfiltered category um, or category listing page. So a great benefit of using a PRG is that it's a control mechanism on how to also distribute internal link equity. So if you link all those different types of filters or you know, filter variants and all of those destination pages and they have been put on no index as well, and they should be, you know, it will cause loss of link equity because you know, lots of links will go to URLs that are actually set on no index. This is not the case as the post submit is not even using a link tag. So it's a nice and clean way of sharpening your link flow.